Snowmobiling in Quebec is more than just amazing trails, more than an overabundance of snow that falls each year, more than the world-class accommodations, and more than the worldly experiences you can expect to have. Simply put, Quebec is original, and Quebec has long been a favorite place for us to ride year after year. Well, you know, AJ, my first trip into Quebec was in the winter of 1990, and uh, boy, I enjoyed it so much. I, I went back home, booked another week's holidays, and headed right back into Quebec, and, and uh, I've been doing that for years and years, and Quebec, the, the trails, the hospitality, the, the culture, um, it's just an amazing place to ride. Mostly the trails is what brings a snowmobiler back, but the rest of it is all pieces of the puzzle, and they're all fit together just perfectly. With over 20,000 miles of interconnected trails in Quebec, there is a lot for any snowmobiler to discover. So we wanted to take this opportunity to point out the most popular regions in Quebec and what makes each truly unique. Long known as a favorite destination for snowmobilers, Abitibi-Timiskaming is located in the western portion of Quebec and has over 3,000 miles of trails that can range up to 24 feet in width. Well, you know, Abitibi-Timiskaming is another one of those big regions with 3,000 miles of groomed trails. You ride all day, you come into the motel and you think it's been a very quiet day, you come to the motels, they're full. And you know, it's just, it's amazing. I guess with the web of trails, you just don't see a lot of people. And that doesn't mean they're not busy, but, and they are. You know, you get into, into Abbey Tibby Tumisming, and my favorite entrance into Abbey Tibby Tumisming is Rapid Set. In English, Rapid Seven, Trail 309, three miles into the trail, you're gonna know why it's called Rapid Seven. And uh, it's a really fun trail. And the trails there are groomed wide. Lots of times they're 24 feet wide. It's hard to tell the difference between a club trail and a top Trans-Quebec trail. They're just amazing trails. And they're consistent all throughout the whole region. When you're in Abitibi, you gotta stop by Refuge Pajot. It's where lost, orphaned, or injured animals go. Um, to be either reintroduced back into wildlife after they've been helped and, and rehabilitated, or they stay there for the rest of their lives. And this place is trailside, literally. It's groomed right to the front door, and you can go in and see a wide variety of North American wildlife. I mean, things you might not expect to see, you can see at this place. It is a really, really fascinating experience, and uh, it's, it's worth the stop, trust me. You, you will be amazed, and it'll be something you remember for a long time. And it's very cool that it's a family-run operation, and these people really care about the animals, um, and that's something that you can be hands-on with when you go to the refuge. Moving east from Abitibi to Miskaming, we come to the Laurentians, the birthplace of the first snowmobile club in the world, but is now more popularly known for Devil's Mountain. The Laurentians has over 1,600 miles of trails, and uh, you're right, AJ, the Devil's Mountain is the gem. That is the big sell in this region, and it has progressed uh, with time, and they have a new, a big new chalet up there. They've put in a brand new trail system, ultra wide, ultra smooth, right up in the snow trees. It's really a, 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 a real beautiful place to visit. The other uh, popular destination close to Devil's Mountains is the Windigo Chutes. And the Windigo Chutes, it's kind of a special place. It's an amazing waterfall. Uh, people swim there in the summertime and don't advise that in the winter, but uh, it is a pretty cool place to visit as well. Now, I, I was also told that in this area, there's a really fun trail, and it's called the Woodrunner Trail, and I know that it's somewhere that's pretty close to your heart. Well, the Woodrunner Trail is, uh, has, has grown with time, and it has improved, and it's expanded, and they have uh, five loops that you can take now of different lengths. It's five-star lodging, it's 10-star grooming, and just fantastic riding. It requires more than one visit to see the, uh, the different loops and it's really a really nice riding. It's a little more remote. The lodges are off the beaten path, all groomed trails to them. It's really a cool uh, self-guided tour. Bordering the Laurentians, Lenodier and Maurice have long been recognized as the perfect snowmobiling destination. Welcome to snowmobile country with almost 3,000 miles of well-groomed trails. Every region, uh, and this region is no exception, has a bucket list. And th in this region, it's Trail 355, commonly known as the Pipeline. And man, is it a trail. Big rolling hills where you just, you come over one crest, you look up and it's just nothing but trail, a ribbon of trail ahead of you. Unbelievable. It heads out of St. Donat and it starts in this kind of tree covered area and then it just opens up to the Pipeline. And that's exactly what it is. And you know, like you say, you got great views from the top and then you ride down into the bottom, and I mean, it's, uh, it's a roller coaster ride the whole way. 
This region is also really popularly known for the Lactoro Dam crossing. And I mean, the trail comes to the lake where you must cross the dam. There is no option. And this is not a small dam, this is a very large one. So when you're standing in the middle, um, it can make you feel a little bit nervous, but uh, it's a fun thing to do. And uh, you know, if you're up there with a group, you get off, you take some pictures, and, and it's kind of a neat experience. And you know, the other thing you might want to take in when you're up there is the uh, ice sculpture festival. It's been a big, uh, big part of their, uh, their winter events up there as well. And if you've got your family with you, what's more fun than an ice sculpture festival in Quebec? I mean, they do festivals like nobody else, and the ice sculptures are pretty cool to see these guys carve with chainsaws Amazing. and picks and, you know, what have you. It's, it's a, it's a very, very special experience. Called the White Triangle, Quebec City, Charlevoix, and the Saguenay-Lac-Saint John region represents and boasts over 3,000 miles of exceptional trails and over six feet of natural snow cover. Riding in this area is just like the rest of Quebec. The trails are wonderful. And one of the gems in this region is the Mount Valan National Park, where they have five different summits you can ride to and see just amazing, beautiful views from the top. But you have to remember to leave yourself a bunch of extra time at the end of the day for all of the other attractions that you can see. And you know, one of those attractions, AJ, is the Manoir Richelieu in the casino. And uh, it's, you can either walk across up above, or you can go through the tunnel down below. And it is just history like you've never seen. After a day of riding, uh, the Manoir Richelieu offers everything you need and want fine dining. The casino, great place to spend an evening. One thing that I found really fun to do with friends and family is go to the Ice Hotel. And this is an experience that you're gonna remember for a lifetime. Um, I mean, staying overnight in a hotel made of ice and, and quite literally everything right down to the bed is made of ice uh, is something you just can't do anywhere else. And, and you'll remember it and it's an experience that I go back on it and remember quite often. It was a very, very fond memory and uh, something totally out of the ordinary that you just, you just don't expect to find. And this is what makes Quebec so special. Where else are you going to find something like this? On, on top of that, another ice feature uh, in this region is Montmorency Falls, which is pretty spectacular. I mean, they light this fall up during the night, and uh, you know it's got a, a walkway bridge over top of it, and you can go there and, and just experience uh, one of the, the natural exhibits uh, of Quebec, and that, that's a pretty special feature to see, too. It's a pretty cool place. Commonly known as Southern Quebec, Centre du Quebec and Chaudier Appalaches features almost 2,500 miles of snowmobile trails and shares its border with the U.S. state of Maine, featuring huge annual snowfall thanks to the Appalachian Mountains. Accessibility uh, into the state of Maine is so easy, it's just Trans-Quebec Trail 75 and uh, it's real simple, bring your passport, you're good to go. The region located on the south side of the St. Lawrence River makes for big snow conditions. I mean, combine the, the St. Lawrence River, moisture in these mountains, it's a natural snow making machine and they get lots of snow and uh, it's great riding all through the Appalachians and the vistas and overlooking uh, the St. Lawrence. I remember you telling me, John, about when you're riding in this area, um, some of the trails, you see all this, this blue pipeline amongst the trails and you're going, wait a minute, I, I'm in the middle of a sugar bush and this doesn't just happen once, this happens a lot of times, which is pretty interesting that sugar bush operators would allow snowmobiling to go through their plots of land. I mean, that shows just how genuine the Quebec people are about snowmobiling and how close to their heart it is. And you're absolutely right, AJ. Think about the value of that property. And here's a snowmobile trail running right through the middle of it. I mean, uh, really cool. You know, the Appalachian Mountains, I mean, they, they play a big part of the trail system here. And uh, it's rolling hills, and you get these vistas overlooking the St. Lawrence. And uh, it's just a really, really important part of the whole structure of the trail system in, in the Chaudier Appalachia region. When you talk about uh, mountains, you, you sometimes think about huge, massive mountains, but uh, the Appalachians are actually slightly smaller than what you might expect, so you can, you can ride up and down them quite easily, and that's why you Absolutely. get some pretty cool vistas and why the trails wind throughout them, whereas most times a trail system in a large mountain area would just run around the base. And yet these mountains, they work great for making snow. I mean, with the uh, close proximity to the St. Lawrence River, it's, it's a great snow-making machine. And, uh, Any time I've been there, there's been lots of snow, no shortage of snow at all. 
furthest to the east and more commonly known as the Quebec Maritimes, Gaspé Zian Côté Nord is blessed with 3,700 miles of spectacular scenery that guarantees you the ride of a lifetime. This region is especially close to my heart because last year John and I got to ride there and I mean, you know what, it was, it was a wonderful time, it was a cool experience and I got to do and see things that I just haven't done before on a snowmobile. And Cote d'Ord is one of the parts of the region we didn't visit and actually to get there you have to take the ferry across the St. Lawrence River. It's, a, it's another piece of the, the puzzle there that just makes for a great snowmobiling adventure. And, and, and the ferry is totally snowmobiler friendly, you ride on, you ride off, the trail's right there. Um, that's something you don't do too many other places that I can think of in the world on a snowmobile. It's, it's pretty unique. Um, but this region is all about being unique. It's, it's original. And I would have to say that the, uh, the mountains, the Chick Chocks, are, are totally unique. I mean, the snowfall there is Amazing. huge, just, just massive. I mean, the, the backcountry and, and the powder and, and what you'll see is severely impressive in this region. And the piece de resistance of this area has to be Pierce Rock. I mean, John, when you come around that trail and you reach the lookout, Pierce Rock hits you quite literally like a ton of bricks. Absolutely. It's an amazing sight, isn't it? I mean, and everybody would stop taking pictures just as we were. This Pierce Rock is another reason we come to this region. And I've often said to people in passing, you know, the Gaspé Z, don't quit snowbilling or don't give up snowbilling until you visit this region. And you know what's going to happen? You're not gonna give it up, you're gonna go back a couple more times. That's the draw of the Quebec experience for, for snowmobile enthusiasts all over North America and worldwide. One of the unique aspects of riding in the Gaspé Z is these big expansion bridges that traverse the rivers flowing into the St. Lawrence River and uh, really amazing. Uh, again, it's just a piece of the puzzle that they've got it figured out and they make snowmobiling easy in the Quebec Maritimes. John, there's something that I just can't get out of my head from our ride last season and that is that no matter where we were, there's a first class resort for you to stay at. I mean, in the middle of the Chick Chalk Mountains where you would expect there to be just about nothing, there was a beautiful resort. And that seems to be the same no matter where you travel in all of Quebec. And you know, AJ, all the years I've been riding in Quebec, I've found many of these places. And the hospitality extended to us, the, the, uh, the accommodations are just out of this world. And it's just been a, a great experience riding in Quebec. And, and that's why I want to keep coming back. I want to keep coming back because I've seen, uh, of all I've seen in Quebec, there's still a lot more to be seen and more trails to be ridden. So we've been on a little bit of a virtual tour of Quebec and the truth is, while we've only briefly touched on each region, the interconnectivity of this province means that you can't just spend a weekend here. You can spend weeks and months and years coming back and not ride the same trails twice. I mean, this region is just so vast and has so much to offer the snowmobiler. From the world-class trails to the absolutely welcoming and warm hospitality and first-class accommodations, this is a place you want to come. And you know, AJ, as I said earlier, I, I started riding here in 1990, and uh, I have yet to see many parts of Quebec, and that's what's going to keep me coming back and uh, enjoying the hospitality, the uh, phenomenal accommodations, the, the generosity of the Quebec people and the language bearer. Was this one thing that I've heard uh, mentioned before has never been an issue with me. Never has that been a problem. These people in Quebec, they love snowmobiling. They love us. They, it's a business. It's a passion. And it's just a great place to come and ride, and I'm going to keep coming back. And that's what truly makes Quebec original. <laughs>